Hello and welcome back or welcome to the League of Ungentlemanly Warfare. My name is Sir Duke and we are back in Paphlagonia playing as Constantinos and uh, the house of Dukas. Um, in the last episode we we had some faction thing is going on yeah the liberty faction and we joined them and now we are the head of the faction so if our discontent raises, rises uh, we can send an ultimatum uh, there are currently no members that we could add to our rebellion I would love to have uh, this duke and the duke of uh, oh no he actually doesn't have that, my, that many troops but well uh, Thraki, Thrakesian and Anatolikon they could pose a uh, threat to our cause um, maybe we are able to sway them somehow um, So Duke Theodosio, okay, he Duke's uh, opinion of Vasilios, Vasilios. Uh, okay, he don't, he doesn't like him. But why can't he be forced? I need a hook, right? I need a strong hook on him. Can we get a hook on him? Maybe our uh, spy master, Eulalia can Let's see do we have someone better at this nope oh man the desktop audio is currently <laughs> there's no music uh now that should be fixed okay hmm where was I? Eulalia, my spy master. Support schemes, disrupt schemes, or find secrets. Yes. Find secrets, record of. Oh, I can. What is this? Why are some um, some of those colored and some of them are not? Let me see. Seed is in the barony of Philadelphia, county of Lydia. Uh, da -da -da, find secrets here. 50% chance of learning a secret. We will see. Maybe this helps somehow. Uh, da, da, da. We have a war going on with the Akhlabid in their conquest of Sicily. They attacked us, right? But they are nearly defeated. Uh, let's progress time. What issues do we have? Uh, suggestion increase Mayor Justiniano's opinion of you. Who is he? He's the mayor of Stefani and well a powerful vessel with his 61 man. Are there no other more important members in my court that I should sway? Oh well I have two vessels, right? So <laughs> maybe I should even try to um get there their lands now oh, they're both cities so I don't want to hold a city
And we are not that cruel, so... Then let's sway him. Or try to sway him at least. A Tyran. We have only 5 out of 6. Uh, the mayor, we will force him. He will be forced. And we can recruit someone to our court for 10 gold. For 9 prowess. Well. Each point of prowess gives a knight damage. So he uh, does 900 damage and 10 toughness. And uh, 90 toughness. So what does a knight exactly do? A knight is a character that joins your army to fight alongside your soldiers. During battles, knights use their prowess skill to fight more effectively. A high prowess means that they will be able to inflict more damage on the enemy and are more likely to survive and even emerge from battle unscathed. A character cannot be a commander and a knight at the same time. And battles start when two opposing armies enter the same barony. At the start of a battle, one side usually starts with an advantage dependent, dependent on factors like terrain commander and commander traits. Armies take casualties based on the amount of damage sustained. The battle enters its aftermath when no soldiers remain for one side. The winner of a battle is awarded war score dependent on the magnitude of the victory. Well, I think 900 damage could be a lot and worth the 10 gold. So let's do this. Mayor Justinianos of Stefani wants a position on the council. But he is fairly stupid. So there's no position that I can give him. Uh, the scheme has to suffice in this situation. And who's the Kagan of? Okay, that's the. Uh, that's Kazaria. Well, uh, obviously, we don't want to declare war on him, right? Uh, let's go up to three times the speed. Let's try to increase our own crown authority. Spy master secret dis uncovered. You learned of Zvika's lover's secret. Who is she? She's just a courtier. Court courtier? Someone on the court of Duke Alexandros. Not interesting at all. Oh, she's someone's illicit lover. This could be interesting. In the name of the divine, following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my son Nicolas what he thought. He expressed, he expressed doubts about whether any go any god could want a realm to be ruled by such a harsh law. Do not expect to see God's justice. He keeps his cynical trait. He must be taught in the proper execution of the law. This is a lesson of moderation in all things. Are we a cynical person? Yes, we are. So that would be something that we would say to our son. Um, let's quick see if we can dethrow him with any powerful ally. Oh, well that That is an easy thing. There we go. Um, did this affect his opinion of our idea? Did not.
Greetings, my liege. It has come to my attention that your bishop, Heraclius, is working to fabricate a spurious claim on the county of Sinop. I implore you to remember that you are dukes by right, not by greed. Signed, Mayor Zacharias of Castamon. Who are you? You are my steward. I know what I'm doing, Zacharias. He loses 20 opinion. Huh. Not a good thing. We gained a martial perk. Uh, what do we get here? We can work towards the strategist. Um, lifestyle, right? But we are the old. Siege weapon effectiveness. This could be useful. Let's unlock this. The Serene Constantinos. Despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to uncover any secrets at Duke Alexandros court. I do not believe we will ever find anything either. There is less going on here than a graveyard at noon. Very well, you know best. I will not be so certain. Keep it up. Uh, yeah, come back. The deserters. I'm leading a patrol when we spot a group of figures emerging from the darkness of night. Hooded cloaks obscure the faces, but by one's ungainly gait, but by one's ungainly gait, I recognize Fortheus, my Hetaria. My lord, whispers one of my men, they are deserting. What should we do? Apprehend them immediately. I might get a martial lifestyle perk. I this will trigger a martial challenge against Fortheus. Yeah, Fortheus Politus. Ah oh, yeah, that's him. Uh we catch the deserters, nothing happened. Nine percent the deserters escape, you gain a trade wounded. Or we let them go, which gives us 10 opinion, a weak hook on Fortheos. He's one of our best knights. Apprehend them immediately. After a short scuffle, the deserter soldiers are apprehended. Every soldier presents both loyal and not. Now the punishment for this kind of betrayal can be harsh. The air is thick with the anticipation and fear. My lord, Fothios meets my gaze with tired eyes. They're only children. We just want to go home. The price for betrayal must be paid. Ex execute them all. You gain 28 dra dread. Uh, one martial lifestyle perk. You will be scrubbing the latrines for months. You gain one martial lifestyle perk. Or let me tell you a story about discipline and honor. This is a diplomacy challenge. Huh. What would Constantinos do? Acts of benevolence and charity are no strangers to Constantinos. So... Invigorated by my speech, tired from the long night and thankful for the mercy provided, the deserters return to the barracks with a few fire, with a new fire in the eyes. To inspire loyalty in the troops and shut such a way showed me that there is more to being a commander than the strength in your arm. Finally, the whole ordeal is over. Nice. Greetings, Duke Constantinus of Paphlagonia. I have prowled through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the county of Sinop. All that is missing is one little bribe. So, he's allied to Nicosia. He's here. Should we? Go 
go through with this claim. Ninety gold. Yes, let's do this. But I don't know if we should press the claim as of right now, and I don't think we can, can we? With a crown authority. Oh, we can actually. The military strength is inferior to ours. So we could just... Uh, call one of our allies. Can we do this from this screen? I don't think we can, right? No, we cannot. Um... Well, declare war. Yes. Anthracasion too. Come on, we call them all. And then we raise our armies. Who's leading? I'm leading. That's good. To the Serene Constantinus, of course I shall join you in this war. Of all shall learn to fear the man of Obsikion. That is a good thing. Greetings, Duke Constantinus of Paphlagonia. Of course, I shall join. This is the Dukes of Cappadocia. And the Dukes of Rakizion is also joining our cause. And they are rallying the men. Let's get to Pompeii Poli. Oh... We could actually face them, so let's move there and wait for the reinforcements. This will be a quick war. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. But now we should try to meet them, right? Camp dispute. After my army set up, sets up camp, I hear a commotion coming from my heterious lodgings. Investigating the disturbance, I find Andronikos and Mayor Istunianos in the middle of a heated argument while severely onlookers edge them on. Deliver a speech about unity to the crowd, have them whipped for the delinquency. Sort this, I'm going to my tent and stuffing my ears. We will deliver a speech about unity and lose 75 prestige. Resolution. I get up and deliver a speech about how we are all fighting for the Duchy of Paphlagonia and how we must stand united against our foes. For if we don't, there are many outsiders who would take advantage of our internal squabbles to seize our lands and impose their rule on us. Looking abashed, Andronikos and Mayor Istunianos apologize and get ready for the settle. To settle in for the night. Oh, I got my prestige back. So we will not be there in time, will we? No, we will not. But we will win this fight. No. Ah, yes, we won, we won, we won. So we can... Let's besiege... His main duchy, yeah, his main barony. Uh, county, come on. No, barony. Yeah, that's what. 1% attrition. 
Get a bit speed in there. Such as Eulalia gained diplomatic expertise. Harsh judgment. Following the death sentence of a lowly thief. Oh, again? <laughs> I asked my son Nicolas what he thought. He, oh no, it's another, uh, another event. He responded that the sentence was far too harsh for such a small crime. The punishment did not did indeed not fit the crime. It's time to show him a little God cares. How little God cares. And this is a lesson of moderation in all things. But why am I stressed when I tell him something cynical? I don't get that. Hmm, that's weird. But he's cynical anyway, so he just loses. No, I will not do this. Oh, and we are in a holy war against the Sheikhdom of Palermo. Who are they? Sheikhdom of Gabes? No. Okay. Dukes Constantinos of Paphlagonia rests in the arms of the Lord at 61 years of age. He died of old age, known to be an exceptional strategist. He spent many of this, his days examining fields and drilling his troops. Duke Sandronikos ascends to the throne. A corrupt and unjust man, many do not expect his vassals to sit idly by if the realm starts crumbling under his watch. So, am I mistaken or does he look a bit... Like a woman model? Or is it... Well, it could be the dress. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, well... Title lost on succession. Don Nicolas of Pompeiopoli. Well, my other son got Pompeiopoli. Okay. Continue as Duke... Dukes Andronikos. And he inherits at the war of his father too, right? So... Command your troops. So that we can dress you in a more fitting... Uh, well, outfit. Empty council position. We need a new steward. Othios, the one that wanted to desert. He would be a much better bishop, actually. Uh, let's pause for a minute. Oh. And who's going to be my marshal? I think I will make Christophorus one of my tyrant. Um... My marshal. It's not a good marshal. End of lowborn status. But that seems to be our only option at the moment. Let's do this. Organize the levies and our steward. Can we change? We cannot fire our counselor or our bishop. Uh, cannot assign a new counselor. Orthodoxy does not have the temporal revocable or spiritual revocable or clerical appointment. Then, Bothios will not be our bishop, but our steward. And collect taxes. 
Why is he? Oh, she's not assisting. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, it's a new ruler, right? I forgot. Let's see. Let's see what we are lacking in. We are a good commander. But our diplomacy is poor and really anything else. We are nothing else than a good commander. I think we might need some help in managing politics which is way better in managing the domain that would boost our stewardship to 10 and maybe help us to get rid of our 6% domain taxes um, negative effect let's try this yes let's take or we could push this to get a positive effect in something well first stewardship manage our domain okay we got rid of the um the negative effect We won the siege. They're besieging our barony, but I think we will win this war anyway. Because our allies will, of course, go and defend our lands. The first army of Philadelphia, this is the Dukes of, um, of Thracision. Is he leading the army? Uh, Commander Duke Alexandros. He himself led his army to this land to support my father. And now myself. Oh, we have a son already. Um, did the death of my father affect our alliances they did so we are no longer allied allied with um with Cap with rakizion or obsequion but why okay, well that makes sense my brother is allied with rakizion Huh. Take a look at our dynasty tree. No, there are no other marriages going on. Just this. You have no lifestyle chosen. Um, I think uh, we will first. of marshal oh what happened to my to my uh, faction thing am i still the leader i am and we can push the ultimatum so it will be a time of war so we will focus on exactly that um we will take the strategy focus to bolster our marshal uh skill That's a good one. Need that. Um, and our war with Armeniak, Armenik, Armeniak, is over. Greeting, Dukes and Ronikos of Paphlagonia. May your years be short and miserable. You are much greater for than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Well done. We got ourselves a nice little new county on the coast of the Black Sea. County corruption is high and sepulchral defiler. The most disturbing rumors surround the ruler of this land. Well, he's not a 
very um, natural route, I'd say. But we will get there. Let's first get a withdrawal going. Arsianon, they are close, right? She's uh, five years different. Six hundred soldiers, Duke Nikoforos, and he's allied with Haldia there. So this could be a good ally. He's 51 years old. A greedy, sadistic, but patient ruler. Skilled tactician. Oh, the sun is deceitful and cynical. Well, the cynical trait. Um, bolsters or uh, opinion. And we got a call to war. Um, we will first do this. Greetings, Duke Andronikos of Paphlagonia. I call you to honor our alliance and join me in the Harsianian claim of the county of Lower Galatia. Oh, dude. <laughs> uh, well. This will pretty much kill any chance to ally with him. But we will accept this call to war. It's one night, Christophorus. Uh, let's meet there. And then we are off to war. But uh, that's it for this episode. Um, I hope you liked it. Uh, thanks for watching. And I will hear you in the next episode.